Now Majora's Wrath. <laughs> this is gonna be really this is where the ultimate challenge of this, like, self-imposed challenge is gonna come to play. Cause like I guess technically you're supposed to fight this guy as you were as if you were fighting Adalwa. But you can't really do that because he's I don't know. So here's my strategy for this is I hold up my shield to try and block his whips, and then I try to get close to him. Just as normal link. And yeah, see the problem is that when you try to get too close to him, he's just gonna spin away like that, and if you get really close to him, he's gonna kick you like that. But if you get lucky, sometimes you can actually get off a sword slice against them. And that's gonna be how you're gonna do this. Alright, oh yeah, see he was taking a break there for a second. That's pretty much your best chance to get him. So you might want to kinda like target off of him when he does that. Yeah, when he's like kicking you though, it's pretty much impossible to get an attack in. And he actually takes a lot of sword slices here. Yeah, I guess when they like mean for you when they say that they mean for you to fight this guy like Odalwa, then they expect you to use the arrows. But I've limited myself to not using arrows, plus I only have ten arrows anyways. So it's kinda tricky for me. Yeah, you know what I could be doing? I could be using the Great Fairy Sword, actually. Never even thought of that. But the trouble with that is that it's going to take, like, I'm going to have to press the button twice to hit him with it. So I might not have enough time to pull that off. Oh my goodness, Beyblade. This guy's like a total Beyblade. No, aw, oh, crap. Alright, oh, I, don't, I can't do that. Crap! Okay, get back here. Stop jumping around like an asshole. Alright, you can't actually block his whip with the Great Fairy Sword. I, I didn't know that. So that's a good thing to know. So now you don't have to actually... Now you can just straight up and hit him with your Great Fairy Sword. If you can get close enough. Please let me get close enough. I think he takes about 10 hits with the Great Fairy Sword. I mean with the... I think he takes about 10 normal sword hits, actually. So that's... If, if the Great Fairy Sword does twice as much damage, then it's probably going to be like 5 hits or so. Somehow I don't. Somehow I think my math is flawed there, though. In some way or another. Oh come on, bitch! I just need to get close to you, dude. Why can't I land a single hit on this guy? It's probably because I haven't done this in a long time. Last time I practiced this, I actually did practice this a few times. And it was like months ago that I practiced it, though. So I've pretty much no idea what I'm doing here. Just have to kind of remember off the top of my head. Probably was not the best idea to go into this recording, or into this battle anyways, without f a bit of practice. A bit of recent practice anyway. Crap. Okay. Mm, this is not doing so hot here. I'm not doing so great. Yeah, but this is what I mean. This is probably the hardest one to take out without arrows. Because they designed the battle so that you would use arrows. I think, anyways. Alright, yes, I hit him. Okay, sweet. Yeah, so the jump attack is actually pretty useful there, too, because... Well, obviously, it's the jump attack. You can hit him from a distance. It's still pretty tricky to pull off, though, because he just... He likes to jump around so much. Dude, hold still! Oh, my God. This guy is too crazy. I can't even tell you. Mm. This is actually my second attempt trying to record this, by the way, because the first time I actually found it, I wasn't recording after I was done with it. I was like so overjoyed, I'm like, yes, I finally did it, oh my god, that was awesome. Then I went to like, go look at it, and I wasn't recording. I was actually, I had, I had recorded the video, I just hadn't recorded my commentary with it. Dude, I might die here if he hits me too many times. Crap, that kick is like, a real killer. Oh, so are his whips, I guess. You must whip it. Ow. His whips only do a quarter hour of damage, but that's fine. I don't know if that adds up after time, I guess. Oh, come on. Yes. Yes? Okay, I can get close. I don't know. I have a feel. I had a. F I, well, I had a feeling until he spun away like a ballerina. Oh, crap. I had him there, too. If, if I had jump attacked like a split second sooner, I would have hit him there. Okay, no, what? Don't put your shield down, man. Oh, crap, okay. 
Yeah, it's a bit... It's a bit tricky to get this here. I don't think the sword blocks the kick either, so that's pretty bad. Okay, I'm down to... You know, I'm gonna... I'm actually gonna switch back to my normal sword. Because then I can use my shield, which does block the kick. And that kick is gonna kill me if I can't block it. Yes, okay. Sweet. Once you do stun him after hitting him once... Ow. Well, there's no block in that, that's for sure. Uh, hey! Dude. Don't get me into... No! Um. What? Okay. Alright, let's get back to our normal fight here. Stop using your cheap tactics, please. Yeah, once you do stun him with your first sword swipe, then it's best to do a jump attack. Because he does stay stunned for quite a while, and it's long enough for you to get it up a jump attack. And obviously, jump attacks do quite a bit more damage, so... I think double damage, to be precise. Wait, oh crap! Oh, I had him there, too. No, hey! Dude, what are you doing? <laughs> he did, like, a double whip action thing there. Well, I guess this whole battle is double whip action, but... Oh, maybe if I have enough magic. Oh, I'm thinking about, like, Zelda 2 here or something, because I'm, like, I'm thinking, like, if I have enough magic, then I can just use the life spell and heal myself a little bit. But we don't have that in this game, so... I played too much of that game. I actually beat that pretty recently. It was like three or so days ago that I beat that game. Oh, and I haven't beat that in like years until like those three days ago. Dude, I'm gonna die. Or maybe maybe I can go find some hearts around here somewhere. I don't I don't know. Ah, okay, this is do I have like Chateau or no I don't have Chateau or Mon. I don't, well that wouldn't heal my hearts anyways, so it doesn't matter. Dude, stop it! I just <laughs> he's just like making me like do the worm. Do the inchworm across the floor here. Alright, you know what, I'm gonna... I'm pretty sure that all these pots either can contain magic or arrows. So, I'm not gonna have much luck there. I can't... I'm too far back to target him. Okay, there we go. It's, it's a lot better when you can actually target him. No, crap! Okay. Oh, shit, son. Down to a quarter heart here. And he's whipping me and I can't get up! I can't... Dude! I'm, I better not die here! Okay, where is he? Can I target him, please? Shit, okay. Oh, I got lucky there that he didn't actually hit me. Yes, okay. Jump attack, jump attack. I always try to get a second jump attack off there, but I don't think it's possible to do that. Oh my goodness, if I can beat this guy, that'll be the most amazing thing ever. Crap. Beat this guy with a quarter of a heart left. I have my double defense too. So cr no, there's no blocking that attack though. So it's too oh, oh my God! Did that really just happen, dude? I don't even see the game over messages being. Wait, what? I respawn out here. I didn't know you would respawn on the moon if you got a game over against Majora. That's kind of cool. Actually, saved me the trouble of having to go back through that cutscene, dude. I'm up to like half an hour in this recording. And I can't cut much of that out, so... I don't know. Well, you know what? Damn! I'm gonna have to just... I'm gonna meet you back at Majora's... I can't believe I lost to him. I thought I could pull off an epic victory there, but I guess that wasn't the case, because I couldn't block that one attack. Anyway, see you guys in a second. It's summer. Every single moment is worth its weight in gold. It's summer, it's like the world's greatest story, and it's waiting to be sold. It's ice cream and cherry soda dripping down your chin. It's summer, man, where do we begin? Shit, 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 shit! Dude, I just heard a bird. Oh my god. I like I think that was actually in the game too cuz it's nighttime here. I, I'll just have to leave that in now cuz I I didn't know that you could hear the birds in here. Like I know you can hear them on the moon, but I didn't think you could hear them in the boss fight. That was scary. I know like a bird's chirp shouldn't be scary, but it was cuz I just didn't expect it at all. <laughs> He's in the wall. <laughs> 
Oh my god, I don't even care that I'm about to die here. <laughs> he was in the wall, that was hilarious. Okay, so there is a strategy to use when you run out of magic against this guy. And, oh, never mind. Never mind. Oh, yes! Exactly what I was looking for. That is perfect. Bitch. Oh my god! The Goron can do a backflip? That's so cool, I never even knew that. Wow. The things you learn when you've been recording for over an hour. Okay, guys, I'm finally back up to this point after a long and arduous process. God, this <laughs> this recording has gone from so happy-go-lucky to just... Oh, I'm kind of frustrated with this now. But you know, it's still Majora's Mask. I'm still having fun with it, and I don't know why I charged, charged it and there was a gore on, but... Okay, so we're back up to Majora's Wrath, but this time, things are going to be different. Because I'm not going to be really stupid... And I'm not going to let him kick me as much this time. Because that was the thing that pretty much killed me last time, was the kicking. Alright. Come on, Majora. Oh, we can do this all day. You can kick me all day. Or you can just let me hit you. Because <laughs> we all know that I'm going to beat you eventually here. So why not just give in right now, man? Oh, I don't know about that, though. Cause it's like, you know, it's like if you're like playing The Legend of Zelda, like the original one, it's like, well, I'm obviously gonna beat this game eventually, no matter, like, no matter how long it takes me, I'm just gonna keep persevering and persevering and try to beat it. So why not just take me to the end right now so I can save Zelda? It doesn't really work that way now, does he? You have to earn your way there. Crap. Alright, come on. Damn it. Every time I try to jump attack him, he just flies away. Like that, see? It's not very cumbersome. It's cumbersome? Jeez. I still can't get over that Goron backflip. I didn't know that the Goron could do back. It makes me wonder if like the others can do backflips. Like I know the Zora can do backflip, but I don't know if the Deku can do a backflip. That would be kind of cool to see. Damn it. Oh yeah. I also did run out of magic against Majora's Incarnation, as you can see there. Uh, at that point, I don't really have a good strategy for it. Basically, I just kind of... I still stay as a Goron, and I just try and wait for her to come to me, and just punch when she gets close. It's not a very effective strategy for fighting her, but it works. What can I, what can I say? I got this far with it, so... But I can't seem to get this <laughs> down. Yeah, if you guys have any strategies, like, against any of these bosses, even, like, some of, like, just the normal temple bosses, if you have any unique or creative strategies, feel free to, like, post them as video response or something. I'd really love to know how you're supposed to beat this guy without arrows. Because I know you're beatable with air without arrows, Majora's Wrath. I've done it before. Plus, the, like, they... They have to account for the fact that you might run out of arrows against the guy because you really suck, but... Jeez, man, I... Oh. Dude, I tell ya, he makes... He taunts me every time. He, like, sits there and just... I just can't get him. This is just sad. Alright, come on, dude. Let me... Thank you, sweet. Okay, jump attack him. Oh, crap, I... I only got a normal sword slice in that time, but that's better than nothing, I tell you that. I tell you what, I tell you what, I tell you what. Alright, yes, okay, sweet. Oh, I think I got, like, a normal slice and a jump attack in there, that was kind of crazy. Because I heard him, like, t do his take damage scream twice, he was like, yeah, twice. Except much more high-pitched than that, obviously. Alright, I seem to be kind of developing a little bit of strategy here, like... It seems like you can hit him right when he's about to attack or something, if you're close enough and lucky enough. Because that's like when he takes his brief reprieve, like that, see? Crap, hit him! You stupid. Oh, so stinking stupid! This is just ridiculous. 
No one's even going to be watching this video all the way through. Like, the commentary is just degraded so much since the beginning. Oh, or maybe that's just me. Maybe the commentary was never good to begin with. I don't know. But you know what? You know, that doesn't really make the commentary better. Whining about how the commentary sucks doesn't exactly make the commentary better now, does it? No, it doesn't, so you just stop it. Oh, seriously now, I just want to get this guy... Oh, now he's doing his massive power whip attack. Kit, yes, okay. Yeah, so it seems that you can pretty much only hit him while he's whipping. So you have to get close enough to him while he whips in order to hit him. Dude, he hit me with his whip there before like I even hit the ground. That was really... You got some skill with your whips there, what can I say? Alright. Yes, no! Oh. I thought I had him there. I thought I had him there, too. Oh, I put my shield down, too, like, prematurely there or something. Yes, yes, oh, I had you, I don't care what you say. Don't do your double whips. Don't do it, man. Yeah, so it looks like you can get in, like... Oh, he's tossing those Beyblades now. Yeah, it looks like you can get in one... Like, when you stun him, you can get in one jump attack and one normal slice. <sighs> wow, that... That babe... That... Oh! I killed him! Oh, I honestly remember him taking longer than that when I fought him before this way. Wow! I actually... I can't believe I pulled that off. I didn't think I was going to for that whole time. I thought this was just going to be a total waste of a recording session, but I pulled it off. To be honest, I was kind of hoping that would be a waste, because this has just been, I don't know, this has been complete failure city around here, but there you go. That has been, in either this bonus episode or these two bonus episodes, that we've seen one of the easiest fights, or one of the easiest ways to possibly fight Majora, and the hardest way to possibly fight Majora that I know of. But we came through in both. So, that's going to be it for this bonus episode and this Let's Play in its entirety. So, oh my goodness, this is actually done now. This is completely, completely finished. I don't believe this. Well, thanks everyone for watching. This has been Oregon Matrix with Majora's Mask. Thank you and good night.